by myself. I really thought that when I got this music, I would get the hubs to come on over here, but he's glaring at me because football's on. So I hope you enjoy the mood music. As you can tell, it's Oktoberfest here. And so welcome to our stream. Will you turn it down though? Now that you're down, will you go turn it down? But not too soft, because we want to have mood music. Well, that was... A little less. A little less. That's good. That's good. Is someone obnoxious? No! You just insulted a whole region. Take that back. Well, we're from that region, so... You just insulted. I, I take it back. And it's happy I, music. It's happy music. That's and honestly, right. you're going to be the music monitor, because that one's a little loud, too, if you could okay. just... Um, so welcome to our stream. Uh, we wanted to get everyone in the music. Unfortunately, I could only find... Unfortunately, I could only find one song that gave us the vibe. So the rest of the music is just going to be normal music, so... Good. Just a little bit less, just so we don't have to worry about it. Good. Okay. So welcome to Philly Philly and our my live stream. And today, as you got from the very beginning, it is Oktoberfest. And we're going to dive right in. We usually chit chat a lot, but uh, we are going to dive right in because we have a lot to do today. So, um, and actually for this first part, if you want to bring the chair over because yeah. you are going to get put to work, but this first part I've never done, so I really can't guide you because I've not made this particular part of the recipe. Oh, that's, that okay. should be interesting. No? Oh, wait a second. One of the things I love about cooking, and you know this, is trying new recipes. Do I not like to try new recipes? You do. But usually it's, you have so an idea So he's a butt guy, on. not what you think of what I'm saying there. Oh. He just always says, but. It's always, yes, but, oh my goodness. So so cooking so, is all about taking chances, <laughs> is it so, not? So I just caught that, that I'm not a butt guy. That's, yeah, okay. yeah. So cooking's all about taking chances. And while I have made pretzels before, I've never made this kind of pretzels. So by the way, if you are joining us, please make sure and say hello. Um, at any point today is Oktoberfest, and we are making Bavarian pretzels, and we're making the best sauerkraut and brats. Um, so very yummy. But we'll talk more about that later. But what I have done in the meantime um, is I, to save more time, I put together. So this recipe is down in the link below for Bavarian pretzels. Oh, and actually, I want to get this on. What is I that? I want to get my, don't touch, please. I'll tell you why in a second. Um, sure. Okay. So, um, the reason why I did this ahead of time was because with making any kind of yeast bread and pretzels are a yeast bread, you need to, um, you need to use yeast and yeast needs oh, so some time to proof. Yeast. So okay. you'll see down the link below, I'm following that recipe except for I'm, I'm putting it in half. I'm cutting it in half because I didn't want, I have a feeling we're going to regret that decision, but I was afraid of having too much pretzel um, and so I, I cut it in half since there's just two of us. So you'll notice with all the recipes today you might want to double um, you know what I'm doing just because it's just you and I and so we're not having a guest so I don't want to I don't like to have leftovers but, yeah, I I was want, say but we don't have a lot of room in our freezer for like well, huge amounts just... of leftovers. Okay. So that's what we're doing. All right. And so here Good. is Good warm cup. water. Uh, I think it was three quarter cup warm water because again, I have the recipe. It's a half a package of yeast. And um, now they call for, and let me make sure I get this right. So when you say half package of yeast, what does that mean? Is it like a... I'll show you in a second. But okay. Let me just finish Sorry. for my viewers here because a lot of people that viewing my cook. So let me just finish my thought. Um, and also um, three quarter teaspoon. I didn't have barley malt syrup. That's really hard to get. I did see the only way I could get it would be from Amazon. Hmm. Um, and I'm worried I wouldn't get a lot of use out of it. So there's a couple of different hacks. One hack is molasses, which you probably forget, but I don't carry molasses because I don't like molasses. Yeah, no. Don't be mean to me, but I just don't care for molasses no, very much. Molasses, um, yeah. we, I had it once because I felt like you should have it in your pantry, and then I threw it away because I just never used it. But um, you can do a couple other substitutions. You could do maple syrup, and you, or you could do honey. Those were two of the other ones. So I actually did honey because we honey. had this really nice honey, honey from um, Asheville that we got. And this is sourwood honey. So, and it was a very tasty one. Do you remember that? Did you smell that? Was that that was just the yeah, kind of the basic honey, right? Um, no, it was actually 
one of his favorite kinds of the non-flavored yummies. Yeah, well, that's fine. So when you were asking about oh, a, package, a package, so what happens is you can get yeast a lot of different ways. You can get them um, in a jar. They're just There's lots of options. But what a lot of people do that don't bake all the time is they will buy little packs. And there's all different brands. Um, this one is just Fleischmann's. And one pack is one of these. So I put so a half two. of that in there. Yes. Okay. And one of the reasons why you put sugar in there is because the yeast is alive and it actually will eat that like that's like it it, it consumes the sugar so, so just sweet. to confirm so that's two packages and you used half of one package yes okay Thank so you. and if you are doing this and after 10 minutes your yeast does not look like this which as you can see it's cloudy and if you could see the top it's foamy it's frothy it's frothy then your yeast is dead and you need to get a new pack of yeast so that's important this is what you want to see have happen okay this yeast goes dead it, yeah it can get well just like anything it's old. can yeah. have a shelf life and i realized we forgot to get our stand mixer out so let me go grab that so yes anything can have a shelf life and yeast is one that you, you will know because it will um, look at that. Could you put the honey on the other counter? Yep. And I would absolutely love it if you would pour me a glass of wine since wifey's a little hyped up right now. Yep. So I had my usual five minute frenzy, five minutes before the, uh, the stream it was funny, went off. Yeah. And, um, and that's just kind of how it goes. And then the longer I stream, the more I chill and calm down. So, so Hubs just has to deal with me for that that little bit of time. I've learned to be... Have you though? I've learned to be exceptionally quiet. I don't think you have. So is this have. this one? No, the one? Chardonnay. There's a Chardonnay there. So it's cute that he says he thinks he's learned. I don't think he's learned yet. Because the best thing to do right before I'm getting ready for a stream is to stay clear out of the kitchen and away from me because I am laser focused and a little anxious. Right, dude? Yeah, that's one way to put it. And so usually that's when he's putting away dishes and washing dishes, which is actually a lovely thing. But when I'm stressed and trying to set up the kitchen for the stream, it makes me a little more stressed. I'm just, I'm just going to be real. I'll always be real with you here. By the way, if this is your first time joining the stream, thank you. Oh, whoopsie. That wasn't turned off yet. Um, thank you. And also please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future streams. So we stream um, on the weekend, once on the weekend and once midweek. This month, if you check out my content on Philly Philly Live on Twitter, you can see I'm trying a couple different things on Wednesdays. Um, used to just be cocktails and reviews sometimes, but now I'm doing a couple other things. So we'll talk about that more later. But so we have our yeasty mixture ready right now. Oh, and I do need this attachment for just a little bit. So I'm going to use my KitchenAid. You don't need to use a KitchenAid. You could use, I mean, I don't make it. You could, you don't need to use a stand mixer. You could do this by hand. I, yeah. I just love, you know, the fact that we've got um, helpers in the kitchen. So I will use my helper. Plus, I feel like I don't get enough use on the KitchenAid. So I'm going to take a big swig of wine because that'll help chill me out a little bit, right? Yeah, I should have poured you a bigger glass. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it's no, nope, no, no, it's good. That's good. Mmm. Good? Yeah, this is good. So he poured me a glass of Chardonnay because that is going in our sauerkraut. Yep, you heard it right. I'm gonna be putting wine in the sauerkraut and it makes it absolutely delicious. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good uh, recipe. Absolutely. So the first thing, um, I have my oven heating by the way and I have it heating to, in fact, let me just change it to 450 degrees. I'm going to be reducing that um, once I, it's time to put the Pretzels in. In fact, if you help me remind me when that time comes, because I'm going to reduce it to 425 because it's going to go convection. I'm going to change it and put it convection. So, um, what am I reminding you of? I'm sorry. Just say oven. Oven. Say the oven right? And okay. then I'll know what you mean. All right. Okay. So, anyway, so what we are going to be doing first, though, is we got our yeast all nice and foamy. And then to that, we are going to be, I'm going to put this here at the bottom. And then to that, I'm going to be adding the butter, um, which will be uh, one and a half tablespoon softened butter. So I'm just going to put that in our microwave for a little bit because that's going to go in the dough. 
I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay. And also in here, I'm going to be putting in our flour and some salt. And that's going to be all, all she wrote. Get that softened. Doesn't have to be completely melted. I just don't want it to be in chunks. It's kind of softened. I just want to make sure it blends okay. So let me just get that. It's pretty easy, right? In theory. In theory. Yes. I mean, if it works. No, it's not if it works. It's the rolling out, transferring to eventually to the hot stone. That's uh, just a little trickier. So the only thing that will be because I we remember I've made pizzas where we transferred them to that stone. Yep. So, and I don't have a pizza peel where I put the, the, um, what do you call it? Uh, the pretzels on it. So that's the main, main part. So what I'm going to be doing to help me with that is I'm going to put some parchment paper on a, um, on a cookie sheet so that I can kind of almost use it like a pizza peel. So that's the plan. All right, so I've got my um, my warm mixture of yeast, water, and honey in there. I'm just going to add the butter to that. Oh, you put honey And then in? I'm going to add, one second, honey, I'm going to add the flour. So with the flour, we're going to be needing, let me check out my recipe. Um, we're going to be needing, blah, 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 blah. I have it all written down, two cups of flour. Again, I'm, I'm doing half of recipe. And as you know from my terrible flour container, I've got to use my half cupper or I can't dip it in. So I'll be needing four of those to make two cups. What was your question, babe? I don't remember. Okay. I'm just worried I'm going to forget what I'm doing if I stop. Because you know that's kind of my brand. Like, if, oh, shoot, I forgot that that does that. So one of the things I love to do is, like, as she's trying to think through things, I like to try to interrupt her so she forgets it's... It's a Actually, fun game, isn't it's, it? It's a fun game. It's a fun game. All right. So can you get out a cookie sheet and put that over there, please, and get out my parchment paper? That would be awesome. So I'm just going to put this here so I can measure out my flour. So it's like I use my, my silly little quarter cup measure. So I'm going to do one, so two. So cookie sheet and parchment paper? Yes, please. Three. Two. Four. I'm going to kick you. Do you want to see me kick them? So it's funny. We have these little conversations when we're not on stream about like what I love about him and what frustrates me. And I love that he chooses during our streams to do what frustrates me. That is so fun. Okay, there we go. Two cups of flour. Boy, it looks like more, but I measured out four. So. All right. So I'm just putting parchment paper on this. Um, yes, but actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it so I can slide it. So just lay a piece on there. You, uh, you have to cut it. It doesn't, it doesn't really work well, so you'll want to cut that. Okay, so I've got my flour. I have my two hooks because this I'm going to use at the beginning just to mix it together. And then this one I'm going to use once it's mixed to um, to knead it. This will be my kneading hook, which will be nice. It'll take some of the work away that I would have had to have done. Okay. Okay. Just start this. Was there something else? I can't remember. Nope. this all right so let me get a little bit more and then okay it's about ready to start kneading so when one, get one second sweetie let me just get this on the knee because we have six minutes of kneading time okay so we can do it for me so those are good times to chit chat like when stuff is just cooking and and i'm not thinking about next steps and ruining the yummy pretzels that we could have right right Okay, so we have that. Oh, I'll show you. Let me show you. So you can see it just came together. So as soon as the dough came together, I stopped, and I'm going to switch and put the J hook on so it can knead it. 
And then it's gonna flip flop on low for about six minutes. So let me get this going first. Yeah. Oh, that is cool. I don't think I've seen that before. So it's gonna do this for six minutes, wow. So that way it works while we chat. So you were asking me a question. I was asking when we got this. This was a wedding present. Oh. So yeah, this... we've had this a long time. Yeah, we we've had it a long time. Hasn't it been a long time? Nah, it seems like yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we've, we've had it a long time. And I feel like, you know, honestly, the times I most get it out is it's cookies, right? Is cookies, yeah. So at Christmas time, I'm gonna make a lot of cookies. But it's held up, and I, I guess these things do. They they hold up for. Oh yeah, this is meant. They, they're forever. actually. You're you're exactly right. They're meant to be. Um, and I'm just gonna tidy this up a little bit because we're gonna be actually rolling out on here. This so. is so cool, by the way. I wish you guys could see this. This is how it just needs this now. It's all on there now. Is that? Yeah, it's gonna eventually go off. Just see, look how it flips off. See? Oh, this is so cool. I don't think I've ever seen the. You've never seen the, the, the J hook. Yep. The J hook. I'm having you move your phone a little bit, just so I can wait. So I'm just cleaning this because I want to make sure, since we're going to be putting food here, it's clean. But I did just put a cleaner on there, so I don't want that to stay. Um, so I'm then going to rinse it with paper towel and then dry it. So that way it's nice and clean. I'm checking to see if the fill is worn out. Lots oh my food. gosh, I don't know if I want to know them. So that's the other thing I'm anxious about. I'm anxious about our fills. We're creating a lot of angst here at our house. Wouldn't you agree? Oh yeah, they just got smoked. Oh no. 13 or 4, they lost the first game in the doubleheader. What, um, does Milwaukee play tonight? Uh, I believe so, yes. Are they still playing that same team? Or are they a different team? They're playing Florida. Marvelous. That's who they played last night? Yeah. Oh, goodness. So. so, we're big Phillies fans, and the team was really exciting this year to watch, like, for a lot of the year, and then yeah, it's just kind of crumbling yeah, before our eyes right now. Like they, like they had I know, years. I know. It's definitely a little sad. So, let's see here. So, what is happening when you're kneading is you're kind of helping get those glutens established and so when we roll it out it should hold together pretty well that is just in so fact cool. you know what i'm gonna put this over here because i know i'll do i'll put this like this and i'll bring that cookie sheet over this is kind of stuck on there. Should we? Should you know, there's nothing to should you take it off? There's nothing for you to worry about. I'm not happy unless I'm worried. Okay, let's see. Okay, slap it around a little more. So I just decided I'm going to slap it around a little more since husband is worried. I'm going to. Make sure it's getting plenty of kneading action. Okay. I'm also gonna wash my hands so good. that I can roll it out. So, what's your favorite kind of pretzel? I love, I love Philly pretzels. You know. Okay, Philly pretzel. Did you have Philly pretzels back when you lived in Ohio? No. So, what kind of pretzels did well, you have? Well, I mean, you had I, pretzels, they, they right? were, you know. You know, the, what, the super pretzels, you know, the, that oh, brand. Oh, like, but, yeah, the mall and the movies. You know, like, uh, what is it, um, Annie Ann's and, you know, that kind of stuff. That, that's what, growing up where I grew up, that's what we had. But yeah. we didn't have, we didn't, we had, like, the Philly pretzel type, but we didn't have Philly pretzels. Yeah. You know. well, I love Annie Ann's. I, I mean, Annie I mean, when Annie Ann's first came to the mall, I forget how many years ago that was. Oh, my God. I would you would go, like, smell it, and you had to get one. I mean, they were... The smell was intoxicating. And, and you remember there would be so like delicious. there would be lines for for Annie Ann's. I mean, it was just a mob scene. Yep. People trying to trying to grab those things. You know what's funny is literally, I think a week ago I, I had this little bit maybe maybe today a 
little bit pretzel sugar that I, I just put pretzel soft that I think I can like. Oh, I did it! Yay! Do you need it? Yeah, it's a pretzel. Oh, for pretzel, right. So. Well, it's a pretzel. So. so we are almost at the end of that. Yeah, it looks nice and smooth. So we're going to do that right here. Yeah, I am. What am I? I think you're gonna, there's this something is that I need. With this, or you're going to need helping with the sauerkraut. Oh, boy. My two people can't really roll up. No, no, I'm just. So it's, so it's kind of like what it's going to be. And I'm just going to try to get off the hook. So I'm going to go a little faster. Get off the hook there. Okay. Lock. okay I'm going to take off my rings. I'm going to put... turn this off? Nope. When it beeps, it's really hard to turn off until it's beeped. So it's better for you not to turn off until it's beeped. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit of flour here. Just to make sure. I don't think we're going to need a lot, but just in case. I want my hands. This is where the play with your food comes into the picture, which is what makes, now you can turn it off, because now it'll, it'll actually listen to you. Once. It really, our timer is hard to turn off unless it's reached its end. Don't ask me why. I feel like whoever designed it just... Uh. So we have, oh, I'm gonna move this. All right, so we've got a very nice, soft dough. I'm very excited about this. And I'm just going to roll this I'm gonna, it doesn't need much. I'm just gonna put like a maybe a tad more. Can you move the flour out of the way for me, sweetie? What do you mean? Can you take the flour oh, thing this. and move it out of the way with the lid? Thank you, babe. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roll. I'm trying to pull and roll because I want to make one. Because basically, this recipe makes two giant pretzels. And so I'm going to make one giant pretzel. One giant pretzel. So I know. There's gonna be some pulling and some rolling. And it's very easy to work with, I will tell you. The dough. Can and, I feel it? Uh, sure. Oh, did you okay. get your hands are probably dirty? But yeah, that's fine. It's just you and me. So when you come over our house, you'll know like that Andy probably has not washed his hands. No, I'm just teasing. Oh, that's, that's I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I'll you tease me. Constant. You tease me. I can tease you, babe, right? All right, so we are almost there okay so about four feet long and then what you do is you take it you twist it and then you bring it over so you got a nice twist here mm -hmm. and you can always twist. i'm gonna twist twice i'm gonna twist twice Did you, say do you want to twist twice can you say twist twice there say we it go. five times and see, I've got, do you see this, friends? I have a lovely... But I don't think that was four feet long. You said four it feet It was long. four feet long, sweetie. It's not four feet long. Okay. Says the man who's never made a pretzel. All right, so now what we're going to do is we have this that's, here. That's a nice looking you. pretzel. You did very well there. Thank you, babe. So we've got our pretzel. Um, I'm going to have you tidy up this. This can... You can take that out. You know how to take that out. You push in and you move it. Do you see that little notch there? You push it in with the push and then turn it to the notch. Okay. And then you can just th put that in the sink. Okay. Um, and I'm going to get a damp tea towel to cover this with because this now is going to rise over here. You don't need to put water on it. It doesn't help actually right now. Okay. okay. I have to rinse my hands, so. Okay, here you go. And what else? He, he loves to wash dishes, but remember in the stream, we till the very end. And it'll be okay, I promise you, because we're going to have a bowl to put can water in and to do all that. Yes, you can put that all in there. Don't worry about any washing, except for the counter level. What Amy doesn't realize is that it's easier to get things off of utensils first. Or quickly. But she's giving me a death eye now. All right. So now I have a little tea towel. I'm going to get damp. Okay. Squeeze out any extra water. I actually need you, your help with this. Okay. We're gonna, you're going to take the one end. Can you hold that end? Yep. You hold it tight. No, you don't. Okay. We've got to keep it over here. Keep turning. 
You said. I know. I said hold tight. I lied. Do you want me to turn? Yeah. And both got to keep it up the sink. There we go. Getting any extra water. Okay, let go. Thank you. And now it's nice and damp. We'll cover our pretzel with it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to set my timer for 20 minutes. It's going to, we're going to let sit. It's going to rise. And then we're going to do our next step and we're going to get it into the oven. So I'm noticing, our music's going to be a bit of a problem because our music was very... That's very soft. Soft. I also noticed, by the way, I know our friends watching don't realize this, but the music is really not cooperating. Did you know, did you know why it's not cooperating? No. Because it's not playing what's supposed to be playing. These aren't the songs I downloaded. Yeah. They're songs that we do with our cocktail streams, which is okay. fine. That's all right. But it bugs me because I don't know why it's not, and it kind of <laughs> just makes me... There we go. It's a, a, little, a little frustrated, like these little things that like technically don't work. I'm not really sure why, but whatever. Okay, so thank you for tidying this. I'm going to take the bowl so you feel better. I'm going to take the bowl that we cooked or that we made the pretzels in. I'm going to fill it with water and we'll put these utensils so they can soak, which do, was the intention the whole time. I do feel better. Thank if you. you could unplug that and wrap it around the cord around, the, around this part. Okay. Just generally wrap it like you would, you know, like a vacuum or something. Tuck the end in, and then you can move that over here. That'd be great. Like this here. Okay. One of the things I found fascinating about the pretzel is after, and I was telling you about this, after it rises, um, we're going to be boiling some water and painting it with a, a brush with a mixture of water and baking soda. And that is what, number one, adds to its chewiness, and number two, makes it really turn that brown that we're accustomed to seeing, like that hmm. that like widespread brown. So the baking soda does it, you think? And the water. And the water? So it's, it's the mixture of that. Hmm. So it's not do I think, like it's, That's it's what it what does. It yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I'm not that smart to think of that. It just is literally what they say, this is right. what you do. So, I um, yeah, so yeah. I no clue. So meanwhile, while it while our pretzel is rising, again, we have our oven um, at temperature ready to go when it's ready. We are gonna get started, we're gonna, right. we are gonna get started on your, or on the sauerkraut. So a little, I'm gonna get him started and then tell you a little story about the sauerkraut. So the first thing we're gonna do is we wanna give some flavor to two of the um, meats we're gonna be using. We're going to be using, um, bacon because bacon adds great porky flavor and then I, I gotta say so when we lived in Ohio and Cincinnati we had so many German products oh because there's a, a lot of German heritage there but here in Philly so I'm sure if I go looking but just as far as for was handy it was harder to find so what I did have to finally settle upon was just Hungarian brand bratwurst so these weren't exactly what I was looking for but they will just have to do so we're going to be so oh we're back to the so maybe we're just going to be hearing certain songs again and again it's a loop. um so we're going to be browning these because as we know when we're browning meats that just adds great flavor but before we brown that i want you to get the bacon started so i'm going to get this on um started on low get that going and i'm going to chop up some bacon so bacon this is a little hack i do that way i've got bacon at my um I've got bacon handy, like all the time. So one of the things I do, let's see this. Hmm. So that's what that was. I saw that in there and yeah. look, okay. So one of the things I do is when I buy a thing of bacon, um, usually I'm buying it because I'm gonna need it for something. And so I'll, I'll cut, and usually it's for flavoring. So it could be for a pasta sauce, it could be right. for anything, right? A soup a sauce. So for this, I wanna use the bacon to help flavor the sauerkraut. So I take all the those slices, I put them all together, and then I just chop off, I individually wrap them, and that way I've got a nice chunk of, of slices of bacon, this, these are thick slices, that are handy for my recipes. Um, because, this, because especially being the two of us, like we, we don't go, like when Matt was here and David was here, we would go through like a full thing of bacon when we like yeah, have it for really breakfast, but we just we just don't eat that much bacon. So this is actually perfect. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this in half, and it's easier to cut when it's cold. 
the warmer it gets, it gets a little harder to cut. And then I'm just gonna kind of dice it, and then we're gonna actually brown that. Don't you love how sometimes songs are louder, like with certain songs sure than others? Can. Yeah, but if you can kind of help keep that, because I, I like having music in the background. This is one of the newer songs, by the way. All right, so I just did a quick chop of the bacon. Again, these these happen to be thick bacon slices. Doesn't have to be thick. It could be, you know, thin bacon slices. But we're just cutting it down, um, and then we're going to add it to the pan. And this is what you're going to tend to. So right now, um, nothing yet. But once those start getting a little brown, mm -hmm. then we're going to add these and brown oh. them both together. Okay. Because the bacon will create some good bake bacon. Baconiness, right? There'll be some good baconiness, Probably and so you say bacon taste, so. flavor, bacon, bacon flavor. All right. Do you have any? Do you have any utensil that you would like me to use? With well, that I or? would use this. Just and remember, you wouldn't want to do anything now because it's not. Really I know. Good. But okay. um, okay. this would be good because that will also be good for the broths. Okay. So you want them to brown. So you actually, once mm -hmm. things get going, you don't want to move it too much because then it doesn't get a chance to get that good brown flavor. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a watch and move. But if you move it all the time, it'll never brown. So that we want, we want that, we want that color. So I'm going to pop these out and I'm going to dry them because I don't want wet brats going in there. I want them to get color. And so if they're drier, that'll help also. And now we're back to the cocktail hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're attached, sweetie. I'm going to have to cut these. That's cool, right? Yeah, look at this. Okay, oopsie. So I'm going to have a beer, but I'm not going to have a German beer yet. Oh, because we'll talk about that later, right? Yeah. Look at that, friends. So I'm going to just get these dried, and then I'll cut those off. Nice. And I'm just going to put them here on this plate, sweetie, so they're all ready to go for you. Okay. Okay. You'll let me know. When it's time. Yeah. When you want me to throw this in. Yeah. I think you'll know. Wait a second. I'm just thinking. So, yeah. Okay. Just oh, and meanwhile, friends, I'm going to make sure I have this going. So you can see what's happening back in that pan. And we hope that we hope that the camera is in a distance where it's not gonna overheat and have the problem that we had last time, which was the camera malfunctioning because it got too hot. So, absolutely. So here's the thing, when I, did you always like sauerkraut? So believe it or not, I actually did. You did? Yeah. You and did was not. it just like from the can or like yeah, how, how did you have sauerkraut? Or was it like with it, pork that you're... So, so my, you know, my, my family was a was a German family, yeah. and um, so we would have pork and sauerkraut um, a lot. Was it so homemade? We, we just, was it cooked together? So was, it was. It was. I mean, honestly, it was sauerkraut out of the can, but then there were things that were done with it. You so know, it was, to, it was yeah, kind of which is the kind of, of what we're going to be doing. Soup it up a little bit, yeah. right? So zhuzh it up. You, the word he loves that I say the most. So, up a bit. But yes. So, but we had a we had it a fair amount. So. You don't need to do anything. I, I, just, I, need, I just need to turn it down a little bit. Because bacon. So there's all these theories about bacon. I don't know if you know this, but uh, what's the best way to cook bacon? And you know, old school is that you put it in a cold pan and it helps render out the fat better by doing that. Because if you cook it on too high heat, it kind of it, I think it just it, it melt, melts away, maybe enough fat doesn't melt away. So sure. okay. I, I don't know. I just know that I feel like it's kind of like when they say wine is healthy and wine isn't healthy. Like these are, these thoughts just go round and round. Coffee's healthy, coffee's not healthy. So I feel like, you know, for this, I'm not trying to make actual bacon, um, bacon what? I'm not trying to make like slices of bacon right. where it's really important that they get that super wonderful crispy but um yeah so that's that's my that's what she wrote but uh so we're when's, just going to render that out when's the uh oh it's, it's, it's here so it has 10 minutes to go okay. so we're going to render that out and then he is going to add the brats um you can stir them just a little bit and then let them go for, for a while um and then i'm going to start getting some of the ingredients for a sauerkraut so here's the deal 
I didn't like sauerkraut for the longest you did not. time. No, I found it really off off putting. But I so think why? Um, I think was... it was the vinegariness. It was just really sharp, and and I didn't like the smell, like when it was opened. And so yeah, I wasn't a big sauerkraut fan. And actually, one of my favorite things that my mom um, and my grandma made were cabbage rolls. But I didn't like the cabbage. So that was not even, that wasn't sour. Obviously, the cabbage there was sweet. And so it took me a, a while to warm up the cabbage anyway. Like, let me just put that out there. But sauerkraut, because of its strong flavors and smell, I just, I, I, I just was not into. So I did not know that. I feel like it was really when we were married that I started warming up to the idea. And, and this is where I'm coming with this. This recipe helped bring me over the edge of sauerkraut and this is what I feel like happens with a lot of people with food so you don't like a certain kind of food and then until you have it a certain way and you are open to the taste then then you can have it some of the other ways so like that happens with avocados I didn't like avocados I didn't like guacamole because it was only the really the cheap guacamole that I've ever had that was packaged in like a weird green until we had it at um, Alves, Alves, Alves. Alves, and it was outstanding guacamole. And then now, after that, and now you so, love guacamole, right? Now I still don't love the ones that are at the at the grocery store, but I could eat them because, like, I'm just I'm okay with the guacamole flavor. Does that make sense? So this is kind of what happened. Um, I'm gonna turn it down just because it's gonna get really spitty. So um, it's actually better to leave it alone because the more you turn, the more it's going to spit up at you and, and you don't want to get your thing on. That's on why that. you gave it to me because you wanted me to... No, I did. So, um, but you could always put on my my finger. You could, put, you could. You could put on my, uh, what's it called? Apron. You could put on my apron. No, that would... Probably not. So I was... Good. But being the, the good German wife, I wanted to figure out, like something I would like. So I saw, this is back in the days, and I think we have, this was in 2000, the year 2000. So 22 years ago, October 15th, and it says it right wow. here, 2000, October 15th. And it was from it was from a website that was, or not a website, it wasn't a website, it was a web page and back in those days, you know? So it was like Bell Atlantic Net, our craft sauerkraut HTML. So that's just how things were, right? You would do a search. I don't know if we were even using Google then. I don't even know what the search I, engine yeah, was that we know. were using. But anyways, that's just kind of what happened. And um, and I found this thing called Awesome Sauerkraut Recipe. And so you can see that there, Awesome Sauerkraut Recipe. And it just kind of, it said, um, it was his Oma's sauerkraut recipe. The fellow's name was Rainier, Rainier. Um, and so it went through her recipe and I thought, I'm going to give it a try. And I did. And we loved it. We have to turn. No, no, you're just, you're know, switching. Sure. Yes, yeah, yeah, sure. And then you can add your brats now though too, because they will help get things going also. So, so and you want to eat obviously the, the bacon grease and all that. Oh yeah. Yeah. So in the recipe, there's a couple unusual things. Um, and one of them is, now you could always add beer. A lot of people do beer brats and they might have it in sauerkraut. Um, but this one does white wine and they recommend a Chardonnay, which is why we have the Chardonnay. So I'm gonna do a couple things to prep for the sauerkraut because we'll be adding it once we get that, um, that wonderful meat all browned. Um, and I will say regarding what sauerkraut you use, you just want to get a, a decent brand sauerkraut. You don't want a fancy kraut. You want a plain kraut. And so the one I chose was this one called Kisslings. Um, and yeah, that's that's all you're going to do. And now I'm going to drain this because I want to create all. Oh, sorry. I want to create all the flavors in my dish, right? So I don't want to use these juices. So I'm actually going to drain this. Let me get my little. Are you good with the heat where that is, or should I turn it up a little bit? Or should I cover it? Can I, I need to move it a second? So I, I feel like as a cook, I need to get a, a feel for it. No, we don't, we're not covering this. We're definitely not covering this. And you do want to be careful because it can splatter. Okay. Um, but we also know how to get that stuff out. I'll turn it up a little bit. Okay? Okay. All right. So while those are going, I'm going to drain this. So I'm going to grab some scissors. Oh, it smells so good in here right now with the bacon. Because bacon makes 
makes such a nice aroma. So that smells very yummy. Oh, I'll put it there. Oh, you look so cute! I love it. I think there's another one there too that might cover you more. So no, no, that one I don't think will cover you more. And you might want to have it go higher so that it'll cover up more of your shirt too. That's also an idea. He looks adorable. Oh my goodness, he looks adorable. Okay, so here's our kraut. Just getting it drained. Yeah, I can't do that. Can you grab me a bowl, please? That's absolutely really horrible. I can't do that. <laughs> I think it's cute. A bowl? Yes, please. I'm just gonna set this on the bowl while I'm cutting the onions. So you drain the kraut, and again, if we were making a bigger recipe, like I'm just cooking for us, so I just got one package. If I was making it for a group, I would have gotten at least two packages, actually probably about two packages, and I would have gotten more um, brats. I also would have liked to have gotten different kinds of brats. Like that's also really cool, is to get different kinds of things. Um, by the way, if you're just joining us, we are celebrating Oktoberfest here with music that is not cooperating. And um, we are, we've already gotten set and started for Bavarian pretzels. And um, it's rising right now. It's going to be going in the oven soon. And then we are starting to work on our sauerkraut that we're going to be zhuzhing up to make it, it um, taste very delicious. So before I cut my onion, because I am going to be um, adding some red onion to it, it could be white, but red has just a little bit more sharpness, a little more flavor. I'm going to talk to you about all the other ingredients that are going in because I'm going to get a couple of them um, pounded here in this pestle. Now you don't have to do this. You can just add these ingredients, but I do know that if I do a little grinding here, they'll give more flavor, which will add more flavor to my end product. So these are the different ingredients that we're going to be adding. So let me bring them over. We're going to be adding... Sure. Yeah, just flip them over. Yep. So we're going to be adding apple cider vinegar. If we do want a little bite, we're going to be adding fennel seed, black pepper, dill weed, mustard seed, and white pepper. White pepper is one of the things we talked about that is Oma's, is kind of her secret ingredient. Like the white pepper really, um, we've talked about white pepper before. White pepper gives a different flavor profile than black pepper. So they use both in there. Yep. And they mention once we add these into there, in fact, I'm going to do this because I have a, I have a part of something I have. Oh, you have this one? Yeah, thank you. Can I, I'm going to put it on because yep. I want to make sure. There you go. There you thank go. you. Um, when you do put the spices and everything on there, you want kind of what it looks like it has like a shadow, you know, right. like. Um, five o'clock shadow of different colors on there. So, so I'm gonna first grind. So I'm gonna add some of the black pepper. Let's see, let's see. The whole pepper. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna do it because I'm already doing this. So I might as gotcha. well like. So, and I'm just going to get this cracked up. And the black pepper is bigger, and I don't really want big pieces of black pepper. So I'm gonna get this going before I add my mustard seed. So about equal amounts of all this stuff. Oh my. Can we do that? Yeah, thank you. It's not cooperating. So I'm gonna put about the same amount of fennel seeds and the mustard seeds. Yeah, this one all type a little better. I love when you have new products and you have those those lids, like these things are hard to get off. Okay. okay. So if you either have gone to an Oktoberfest or, or actually celebrate Oktoberfest, please let me know below, like what are some of your favorite recipes that you enjoy um, eating? If you're visiting, maybe your community has an Oktoberfest. Um, they actually, they actually um, in Cincinnati, always oh, have lots of Oktoberfests. Yeah. And, and the food was unbelievable. And it was just, just phenomenal. Yeah, very good. So I'm just grinding these. I don't need these to become completely broken down, but I do want to release some of the oils and some of the flavor. So that's what I'm doing here. The pepper broke, broke down quite easily. I'm just getting that fennel and that mustard seed to break down a little bit. The mustard seed's a little bit stubborn. I never it thought mustard stubborn. seed would be that stubborn. You could also use ground mustard if you didn't have the mustard seed. We're just looking for the flavors. 
Okay, so that's broken down enough. So that will be, and I'm actually just gonna add the rest of it. We're gonna be also adding um, some dill. So We're also gonna be adding some white right pepper. I mean, how much is it? Oh, uh, the, there's no, there's no okay. amounts. You're just guessing. Um, in the re that's how a lot of recipes are, by the way, especially older recipes. And this was an Oma's recipe. Oh, I almost picked that. In fact, it says in here, um, where does it say with? So I want you to see what he actually wrote. It says, uh, blah, blah, blah. Equal amounts to black pepper and salt with the white pepper, half as much dill, mustard seed, and fennel in general. So that's just what they say. So you're just guesstimating. Your... Is our, our pretzels done? For the... Yeah. Yes. Yay. Okay. So I'm gonna. So our pretzel has risen. We're gonna be transferring it to the oven in just a second. First, one thing I want to do, and we're gonna turn that down so we don't need that any higher. I can turn that off and just let that sit for a little bit. Okay. Okay. See how the bacon grease how hot that gets? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. You know why? Because it's like popping on my hand. I know. So that's why. I'm just gonna take some of this over here. I could have done it. No, I was a little concerned. It wasn't with you. It was just seeing that way I had that done because I have an old shirt on. There we go. Part of this is actually to protect you because I have asbestos skin with cooking and and I also don't have anything good on, so you don't have to worry about that. So I'm gonna let that sit there. Um, and I'm actually, I need to wait, I need to get this turned on one second because I need to get some of that grease out of there. All right, so you're going to stay back because I do not want you getting any of that stuff on you. I'm going to get some of the grease out and put it in. Can I turn on the fan? Can. I think we can't. Can. It's going to be too loud, sweetie. Okay. Right. It smells really good in here, though. Okay, so I'm just going to right now take some of this grease away. Yes, more than I want. <laughs> I'm just taking some of this, putting it in a heat proof glass. You can see all her bacon is nicely brown. We can save this to cook I don't know, eggs or whatever, and that would have a lot of flavor. Shelby is like doing everything she can to trying to get over here because she smells the food. So I left a little bit in. At this point, I'm going to actually add my sauerkraut. because we can't do the pretzel until we have the water boiling and we can do that baking soda water thing. So now I'm gonna take some of my spices, my herbs, spread them. And I'm gonna add some salt. Shelby smells, smells this and is very excited. And I'm going to add just a little bit more of the white pepper. Oh no, that's mustard seed. That would not be the white pepper. Okay, a little black pepper. We're going to turn that up. There we go. Okay. 
And then the other thing we're going to add is we're going to be adding some apple cider vinegar because we do want some of that twang. And what's nice is the wine really mellows things out. We are going to need to taste this um, to kind of see. And, and this is where actually I feel like your um, preferences can come to play. If you like a little more bite in your sauerkraut, then you can add a little, have, make sure that that vinegar comes more through. If you want a more subtle sauerkraut, then you can make sure that the wine comes through more. Do you know what I'm saying? So this is where, and I, I kind of like when they don't have a lot of measurements because that way you really are forced to make it your own, which at the end you will enjoy more anyway. So I'm just gonna, I don't know, put like probably a couple tablespoons of it there and then I will check. So the wine and the um, sauerkraut will be checking to see how it's tasting to us. Like if it seems like, if, we, if it seems like it's what, you know, it's good. Now, by the way, the bacon, you could always just let that bacon melt right into the sauerkraut. I think I've done that before, but I actually really wanted, um, I wanted to have a little texture, honestly. So, so that's why we chose to do it that way. Okay, so then I'm going to get this cover. Uh, if you can put the lid on. Sure. And get that cover. And I'm going to turn it down. So I'm gonna, there we go. All sealed. And I'm going to turn it down so it simmers. And then we're just going to let that cook. Meanwhile, oh, I forgot the onions. Holy moly. I'm going to add those onions. Almost forgot. Because of the amount, I'm just going to do about a quarter of an onion. Thank you. So, oh. What do we do with this pretzel? So I do a quarter of this onion. I'm going to chop it small because I don't want to have like any really big chunks in it. So I'm trying to get them in step. The pretzel is waiting for the water to boil because oh, we can't do anything until. That's all right. Actually, you know what you could do? Could you do me a favor, the, sweetie? The, the water is, is it's boiling. Okay, can you turn the water off? Yep. And can you do me a favor and wash that little cup measure there? That would be awesome. It's in there in the sink because we're gonna need that. This, this one? Yep, you could wash that. All right, so I'm gonna get these small. I'm excited. I like oh, that this wash, is gonna add a little bit of flavor. There we go, okay. So I'm gonna add this onion to our simmering sauerkraut. This will add a nice glass of flavor. I'm also gonna add some garlic. Not too much. You don't usually think of just overpowering garlic when you have sauerkraut, but I do want to add a little bit for a little flavor. Grab that. Okay. And then I have my little chewed garlic, a little squirt. It is sure handy. Okay, especially when you forget something like forgetting to put the onions in anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to give us a little stir so it can kind of incorporate and then all this is going to have a nice hot tub together and have all these yummy flavors that are going to develop. And we'll be tasting this um, after the pretzels are done being cooked to see how it's going if we need to add anything. Now I'm going to tell you that this recipe, the longer you cook the better. So you know, we're going to be tasting this for you all when it's probably about halfway through the normal cook time. This, everything here is fully cooked, so there's nothing that needs to finish cooking, but the longer you let it kind of marinate together in the simmer, the more flavor that's gonna develop. So, so how long would you let it cook normally? I'd say two to three hours. Two to three hours would be good. Okay. All right, so let me get I have my finger right. Okay, so what we're going to be doing, let me see the measurements for our little baking soda wash. It's going to be a half cup of water. Let me get that measured. Oh, she's getting the bacon grease. That's why I know, out that's here. why she's here. Yeah, so, yeah. she definitely is doing for that. 
And to that half cup of water, I'm going to add one tablespoon of baking soda. So I'm going to get my tablespoon measure and my baking soda, which is oh, right here. There we go. And it's new, so I have to... By the way, you know how we were talking about the, the yeast? Mm -hmm. How it can go and become like not really work well? Baking, baking soda, soda and same. baking powder can do that too. Like it, they just kind of lose so their... So how do you know? It's, it's like... I think it's because a lot of times when you part of the answer to that question, I don't really know. But like if you're, but one way to test is to do the whole baking soda vinegar thing. If it doesn't really fizz much, then you'd know Amen. that you're well. Even what? here, see that fizzed. So you know, if we did that and it just was like, mm, then you'd think hmm, I should get some new baking soda. Oh, it's fizzing. Oh, it's mackerel. I know. Okay, so we are going to bring over. That's kind of cool. Can you? Um, can you just, can you get this out of the way? Just over there? Because I'm gonna need to bring the pretzel. I need to bring the pretzel over here so we can get it ready and get it in the oven. All right, I'll find my little hanger. Open the big reveal. Okay, so here we go. Let's see this over here. Let's see how our rising went. Ooh, it got puffier. Wow, That's look at that. Sure. I'm gonna turn this around so you guys see the pretty side. Okay. That's pretty cool. So then what you do is you're just gonna take this mixture and you're just gonna paint it over and then you're gonna sprinkle your salt. And this is again what is gonna help it fully brown. Oh my goodness, Shelby. You, she is she is Hi. persistent. No, she's fine, sweetie. It makes her happy. And she desperately needs her, her nails trimmed. That was the last thing we lost. We can't find the nail trimmer, so that's fun. Um, and then we're going to put the salt on it. And then we do a special trick. I'll show you this one special trick okay. that I didn't realize is apparently like so no legit butter. You with... You don't put any butter It's apparently legit with um, the... You're gonna to have to be patient with your questions. Is um, is legit with um, the Bavarian thing, so that's what I want to show you. I'll tell you about your butter in a second, but I do want to. I kind of wanted to talk about this okay. this one thing. So then, to make it really be legit, is you take a knife. Oh, I'm gonna do this one, and you make a slash at this bottom one. So I I don't have a really long bottom one, which makes me a little sad. So I might make a couple slashes there. And I don't know why I think that's just indicative of what it looks like when you get a Bavarian pretzel. It kind of explodes out. Like, you yep. know, like when that white stuff kind of comes through? I guess that's what. Now, I'm a little worried about how this okay, thing Sarah is. Okay, connects. Oh! Strong arm. Wonderful. We're making pretzels. Bavarian pretzels. And so we're about ready to put it in the oven, and I'm a little worried that it's not going to slide off the thing. I'm a little concerned about that. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so we're gonna do teamwork, all right? We first get this open. Open it out. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna actually take this guy all the way out. That's a good idea. Okay. I'm gonna have you bring this over. Yeah. Like so. Hold okay. it, hold that there, please. And I'm just going to, best I can, to transfer. There, we'll see. Oh my. Well, that's wow. Really that didn't really work. Wow. But what are you gonna do? You can take that away, guys. Yeah. Well, that didn't go as well as I hoped it did. They talked about sliding off of the of the um so this oh, this is kind of how it turned out. So we shall see. It didn't quite go as well as but we're gonna put it in here. It's gonna be fun. Or, let's see, if you could turn down the music, please. Um, I think they said, I think it's about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna check it at 10. So 10, okay, let me see. Yep. So if any of you have ideas of how to, how to have it slide better, please let me know. Oh wait, I gotta do something, oh shoot. Um, action, temperature, four, two, five. Okay. It's going to be great. 
All right. Because like that was, that did not go well. <laughs> so the only other thing I can think of is if. Sorry. The only thing I could think of is if, is if we had put like flour down on the parchment, but the flour would have gotten wet once you yeah. did the brush. So like, I it don't know. Fun. It was Right, but though. there's people that make pretzels and they slide them. So I'm just, I mean, she literally talked about that was the method. She makes these all the time. I was like, ooh. They lie. So if anyone has any ideas, so thank you, Kesa Connects, for joining. Do you like Bavarian pretzels? Do you like any kind of pretzels? Let us know in the chat. So do we need to do anything with this over here? No, let's just hook it away. Right. By the way, um, who, the, our friend that joined us in the chat, I got to tell you, that makes me think of something from my childhood. What's that? So there was a song, and I don't remember who sang it, but it was K Sera Sera, whatever will be will be, and it's a great song. Like when I was a little girl, I listened to that song all the time, and my sister and I would both listen to it. And I cannot think who sang it. it was K Sera Sera, whatever will be will be, and that just that made me think of it. So thank you for joining, because your name actually that makes me think of a wonderful memory, because that would have been from. Um, you know, my folks era, because we were little, so the records, we had, yes, we're records old. We're original records old. We're records OG, right? Right, sweetie? Hey, you know who it was? Who? Doris Day. Doris Day. I actually was thinking it was someone like that. Okay, so I can pour this down. I was thinking it might be someone like that. I'm just going to tidy this up so when we get stuff out, we can have room. Um, but you yeah, that one? makes me, yep, that made me think of that. So, in a second, we are going to taste. I have some spices that are still here. So, catching everyone up, we made the pretzel dough. We let it rise. We formed it first. We let it rise. We brushed it with a mixture of baking soda and boiling water so that it would get nice and brown, had this like chemical reaction. Right. And then we almost didn't get it on the pizza stone. And it is cooking at oh. four. Wow. Wow, it's, it's like... It's puffing. It's big. It's big. So it's cooking at four... Well, before 15, a regular oven, in our oven, it was 425 because um, it's convection. So so that's why it might take a, 10 minutes because in a regular 4450, it would be 15 minutes. But convection does cook a little quicker. So I'm definitely checking at 10 to see. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait for that. Oh, is we need to get mustards out. So we need the honey mustard. Do we want to just get like a regular spicy mustard? What well, do you think? I'm not going to have any mustard with mine. I'm just going to have the pretzel. But if you want, oh yeah, I want, want the honey mustard. I'd okay. like the honey mustard. Um, and we can, and you were talking about butter, and that's why I was um, waiting to tell you is that the butter you can put on at the end, but you wait till it comes out, and that's yeah. what. But think about Annie Ann's. That's like Annie Ann's does yeah, that, and that's what cause they talk about no, doing I, that. I probably don't need butter. It looks really good. So, so no one ever needs butter. But sometimes butter needs the situation. Did it, you want? Did you want to talk about the beer that you got for today? So, yes. So I yeah. Well, there we go. But I I'm, I wasn't ready to do that. Oh, you don't have to do it now. Sorry. I thought that this was so this was a. So I looked and it is called Spaten. So I figured I should get some sort of German beer. I was going to get Warsteiner, um, but. The place where I went didn't have it, so this is um, kind of a light lager. It's a good, and we so I like it. it. We, yeah, well, that's that was kind of the prerequisite that you know we had to get something that Amy would like. So it's a it's a light lager, um, and it's a good beer. I've had it. I've had it before. I haven't had it for a long time, but um, again, somewhat limited with what I could get. But um, but this is a a tasty beer brewed out of Munich. And you're much more adventuresome with beer than I am. Yes, I'm not. Drink, I'm not very adventuresome with beer. I'll drink pretty much anything. Yeah. So. But uh, yeah, back and for me, in, it gets when they get hoppy is when I just don't enjoy them as much. I don't think this is going to be horribly oh, I don't hoppy. Think this, I think this so will, yeah, it does have you know. It's a lager, you said. So that means something, right? When something it's a light lager. lager. A yes. light lager. Yeah, so. light lager even. So yeah. So and so we, you can tell because it's it's pretty clear. It, it's not a pilsner, but it's uh, but it's pretty clear. So it should be good. So I'm looking forward to it. Very nice, very nice. Do you want to have one? Um, I'm going to finish my wine first. When we, when we have 
when we, we hammer have, that back. When we have our meal, definitely. By the way, will you help me remember something? What's that? I think I asked you to help me remember something, and I don't remember what. Oh, turning down the oven. I did. Okay. Um, I was supposed to say something. Right, but but I did. I remembered it or something. No, I remembered oven. it. So, I remembered it though. Yeah. But um, and so I so so here's a really important thing. Okay. When that pretzel comes out. Yep. I want to get a picture before we tear into it. Okay. And with your phone, will you take a picture of it? Sure. And it'll just be, when you take a picture, just go over to the kitchen table and just go over top and take okay. a picture of it because I'll put it on the got it. Okay? I'm there for you. So that would be awesome. Now, I think what we should do is, I think we should actually, um, by the way, I think we should taste just the sauerkraut right now to see how it's going, to see how the, now it's way early, friends, okay. but we want to get a little bit of sense of flavors so far so and if there's too much of something or too little of something oh and right now it's looking a little dry so we need to get the wine out oh, we need yeah, wine right. so the wine is really to help keep it moist friends so that is what you want to check when you're cooking pork. you know yep pork pork, pork. that's it okay thank you there we go and you know my low runs hot unfortunately our low does not look no low and that's what happens so you do want to make sure now I will tell you that I usually would not cook this in a fry pan like this I would have done like our big um, enameled um, cast iron thing but we just did it wasn't that much food so it seems silly to get that whole thing out when we weren't going to have much no we I we can't might, tell you how good this smells we might need to adjust because we just add a lot more wine like we might need to adjust with um, with some vinegar. So that's what we want to check out right now, okay? okay? So here's your fork. It's gonna be super hot, obviously. So we're gonna taste, see how it's going. Mm. I don't think it needs vinegar. It has definite bite. Wow. Oh, I forgot something. What? Actually, butter. Butter. Did you add butter to that? Yes, it rounds that yeah. out. Mm. I'm just gonna put two tablespoons in. That is so good. And since our um, wine has already evaporated, because we've got a high low, no pun intended, but I'm going to actually add a little water because I don't want to be too dry. And I don't really want to add any more wine to there because it's plenty flavorful. Oh, it's so good. So we're gonna let this hang out. We're gonna cover it. And I'm probably gonna need to turn it off at some point just to turn it. So because our low is so terrible, we do not have a good low. A lot of times what I do as a hack, which is not a fun hack, is I have to turn it off and turn it on, and turn it off, and turn it on. Yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. Look that press is huge, is. man. It no, feel like it blew makes two. Up. Well, it's supposed to be. I mean, it's supposed to be a big. Bavarian pretzels are the ones that you, you share usually. Like, you get a big one to share. It's yeah, not. Well, that thing's it's not, it's not like a super it's like pretzel. A this is a super pretzel. It's like a pizza. I know. I'm so excited. So am I. Do you think it'll lift off? Can we take off? it out? Can we just eat it raw? Well, actually, so this is what's going to be important is when we take it out, we can't eat it right away because we'll literally burn our mouths and we won't taste anything. So we do need to let it cool a little bit. It'll be okay. You go first. No, we definitely need to let it cool a little bit. So so we'll mm -hmm. have to have some restraint. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to have a, I want to have the German beer. Well, you can get a German beer while I'm finishing my wine. Are you going to put it in the glass? Oh, we should have, we should have chilled some glasses. Well, I can, I can try to chill yours real quick. Oh no, I don't need. To. I'm just saying because you, because he he likes a chilled glass. You like a chilled glass sometimes. What was the beer that you really liked a chilled glass in? Do you remember? I don't remember. Remember there was one that you definitely. I did that put, for. I did that for yeah, a while. Yeah, you would definitely put your your glasses in the freezer oh. for. I thought it was a certain kind of beer that so you get. Spaten. Spaten. See how it is. Is that your first Spaten? Oh, you're gonna like this a lot. What? I'm excited. Yeah. It's just, I mean, it's a very easy light beer to drink. So the one, my main thing since I'm gonna be cooking this sooner is I do want to make sure that it is cooked because that middle part is a little bit thick. Oops, I'll wait till you're done. No, good. 
that middle part's a little, and can you make sure the dog doesn't get burned? That pretzel is huge. Yeah, I wanted to cook it for a little bit longer and make sure the middle is cooked, because that's a big, thick part. So I'm going to go timer, a minute 30. There we go. Okay, just one more minute. The pretzel is beautiful. It's amazing how that baking soda, um, hot boiling water trick works. Yeah. Like it really is. It's all, yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. It's very brown nice. and pretty. Very, very nice. So are you happy with the beer? I am. It's good. So now you know in Germany, they don't have their beers as cold as we have them. So I think that's, that's true. I remember um, friends, because I had friends that went over there um, you know, when they were in college and they would talk about how it was much warmer than we're accustomed to. Yes. I mean, they got used to it and it tasted, it actually worked, but that at first was surprising. Right. So, but this is, this is cold. Exactly. So. Yeah. Well, I, I like a cold beer. I got, I can't lie. In fact, he knows that once a beer gets too warm, I stop drinking it. So. But I always... You'll finish Ask it off. you to, yes, yeah. I, I do that, yes. So, um, I'm surprised that you don't want to, you love your mustard. You love especially your, um, like your sharp Dijon uh, honey mustard. Yeah. I'm surprised you don't want that. I'm gonna I, get think, nice I think this is going to be really good. So oh, I do think it's going to be really good, but I'm I think I can surprised. just eat this without, without the mustard. Absolutely. It smells so good in here right it now. It does smell good. All right, so all right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to turn that off, is I'm going to do have. Me, do you want me to help you? Nope, you're going to, yes, you're going to hold this. Okay. Bring it over. So I'm going to use these two. I'm just, let me get them open to the situated first. Oh. Picture. Comes right off. Don't doubt it's gonna be hot, so be careful. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my god, it smells good. Did you good. show up close? No, you uh, I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah. All right, here it goes. Up higher. Up higher, up higher, up higher. Good. There you go. Money. That's the money shot. Oh. Now you get the money shot. I'm going to try the beer over there at the kitchen table. And we're just, just top to the bottom. And I'm going to grab one of these spade tins. Is that how you call it, babe? It is. I actually purposely looked to see what it was, uh, what it was called. Oh, and I forgot to mention. So these, this, um, this Bavarian pretzel we made, and I forget the name, so I gotta go back up to it. Uh, the German name for it, this came, oh my goodness, I just lost it. Oh goodness gracious. Here we go. Um, is Lagenbretzel. Lagenbretzel is the, is the name. I don't know if I'm, I'm saying that wrong, but that is the name, the official name of the German pretzel. So Lagenbretzel. That is ridiculous looking. That is beautiful. That is very nice. I'm super pleased with that. Ugh. I hope it'll taste as good as it looks. I, or as good as it smells too. And it's, yeah, I do want to smell it. I just oh say, my God, it smells so good. Oh, it does smell good. I smell the salt. It smells oh yeasty. Goodness. Very nice. Very nice. I think I, I'm just going to burn my mouth. I just want to. No, we're going to wait a second. I want to dive in. So, um, Anyway, I do want to give recognition to where I got the recipe. The recipe was from a website called thefreshcookie.com, a cookie like C-O-O-K-Y. And um, and down below, I don't remember her name offhand. Oh, I wrote it down, actually. Her name was Kathleen Pope, and she got the recipe from Sevior, which is um, – Sevier Magazine, which is a cooking magazine, and I'm sure it was from their website, but she got it from them years ago, and that's just been what she's always used. And by the way, you don't have to always make your pretzel this big. You can, you know, roll it out and have it be smaller. You're not cutting it yet. But why would you? You're not, um, you're, because maybe you have kids, and kids don't like sharing this way, because they're like, you got the bigger piece. You want to make individual ones so everyone gets their own pretzel and then no one complains, right? 
Um, but this is the way. So there's a place in Philly called, um, what's the one in Frankfurt that I told you about? Um, I do not yeah, know. Yeah, the outside place. Frankfurt Hall. Oh, Frankfurt, Frankfurt Hall. Frankfurt Hall. Right, sure. And they have Bavarian pretzels and they have all these different beers. They have German beers. It is a lovely place, especially on a nice day. Um, they, You can sit outside. It is a great spot. You haven't been yet. I've been there a couple times not. with friends. It is a great, great spot. I don't trust them. I'm going to put this plate in between us. Oh, that's perfect because she probably has to. Because, um, you know, so the dog ate right before the stream. The dog ate, but she has this notorious thing that after a certain amount of time, because she's old, she kind of, she drinks a lot of water when she eats and then she has to go out and leave herself again. Yeah. Okay. So that would be lovely. Thank yeah. you so much. And it's perfect because now that when you come back, I promise we'll taste the pretzel. Okay. I promise. Not sure if I believe you. I promise. I promise. Can I get like No, nope, nope. I promise. I promise when you come back. So he's going to let the dog out. So if you, you again, <laughs> again, if you are just joining us, um, we have been making a Bavarian pretzel that just got out of the oven the, uh... and we are making, I turned it off and I have to turn it back on in a second. We are making sauerkraut and um, brats and the recipe. So I, um, below in the description, I put the ingredients that I, that the recipe had, because again, there are there is no page I can link it to, and there's really no, there's really no, besides the ingredients, there's no measurements, there is no real description of how you're gonna go about the process. So, you know, watch a video. It's it's really not rocket science with this. It's really a matter of putting all these ingredients together, letting them, you know, be in this uh, like little hot tub for a while, gathering flavors together. I'm gonna actually get this going back up because of those of you who've been with us know that my low does not work well. Um, so please let me know down in the chat what your favorite Oktoberfest foods and drinks are. Um, we're gonna be tasting that in just a little bit. I just have it turned back on because my low doesn't work, so I have to kind of turn it on, turn it off. But coming up, I will tell you about a couple of things coming up. Um, so this week, uh, we have one of our favorite fall cocktails that my sister actually came up with and we just we've never named it but i felt like for the stream i needed to name it something so i named it the spiked apple um it's an apple cider cocktail and my so we've always had it a certain way and then my son that you've seen on my streams my son matt he has kind of put his own spin on it so we will do both although we prefer it the original way but we'll do it his way too because in honor of, of him we'll make sure and show his way and then you can decide which way you like best that is on wednesday at 7 30. and then next weekend i am so excited because i'm going back to my grandma's recipes um as you know last month i was supposed to make my grandma's um, anise cookies but the humidity was not cooperating, so those are going to come sometime. They're going to be surprised. All of a sudden, I'm going to announce that the anise cookies are here, and I'm going to drop that video when the humidity is down enough. Right now, we've got the remnants of Ian, Hurricane Ian, so it's not a good time to be making these cookies that need it to be very low humidity for because they cure for like 10 hours. So I'm making, though, a recipe next weekend that doesn't need this really fussy humidity time and it's hungarian apple pie and i kid you not it was the first apple pie that i really liked i was not a super big pie person when i was little and it's funny because my kids especially my youngest is not a big pie person unless it's like a chocolate cream pie um but he does like the key lime pie like i liked those kind of pies lemon meringue I just wasn't a big fruit pie person and my grandma made this pie called Hungarian apple pie and she made it in a rectangular pan and I loved it. It has to me like such a great crust, not a traditional pie crust, but it's just a very, um, for, a, for a child, like I just thought it was delicious. Um, so I'm making that next weekend. So next weekend will be Hungarian apple pie to send some love out um, and remembering my grandma, one of her recipes, one of my favorite ones that she made. And this week is the apple theme, continuing with the spiked apple cocktail. So don't make sure you join us. And again, if you're not following me on Twitter, Philly Philly Live, please do because you'll find out all of the latest. I actually, um, I put on Twitter earlier today, I wish I had thought of it like a couple days ago. Um, I had asked if anyone had any burning questions for me to answer during the stream. 
but I didn't give enough time for it and therefore got no questions. So if you are watching and you want to pop a question in the chat, I'd be happy to answer some of your questions that you might just have about cooking, about um, me as a streamer, um, anything. So, I mean, I won't necessarily answer anything, but like, you know what I'm saying. Like, so if you have a question, please pop in the chat because I'd be happy to answer that. Um, I'm gonna try to do that for some of my live streams is get questions um, from before from my Twitter account and then be able to answer those questions during the stream. But I will do better and I will make sure and get that out a couple days beforehand so I give time for those questions to accumulate. So, I'm back. so you're back, so you're washing your hands and then we are gonna dive in. I'm so excited. You know, part of me wants to just drizzle butter all over this. Well, do what you like. No, it's okay. I, if I you want, like, do it. No, it's fine. I don't have it ready, so. So where do you think we should start? It doesn't matter. I think we start here. That looks a little thin. I think we start here. <gasps> so look at this. Just breaking it apart. Oh, I'm giving you the smaller end. I'm giving me the bigger end because I like it to be a little gushier. Oh, it smells so good. Well, I'm going to taste it plain oh. first. Mmm. It'd be better with butter. It's not bad, but I just would love some butter on there. Hello. It's very light. Mm hmm It's not heavy. Oh, mm. it's tasty. And I will say, the Bavarian pretzels that I get at Frankfurt Hall are not heavy. They're lighter like this. Like Philly pretzels are heavier. When Philly agree. pretzels are almost too heavy sometimes. But they're but, good, but, yeah. but they're heavier. Mm. Well, It'd be really, really good with better. better. I would do better next time. Mm. I, I this will be good though. It. One of the reasons I did this was so we could have it with the sauerkraut yep. and broth. So I thought, you know, we don't really have I mean, a carb. You could, you could do it with butter, but I don't, I don't know if it's really necessary. I think it's a bit traditional, by the way. What, butter? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. And it makes it glisten. That's so good. Mm-hmm. Did you hear Very it? Very good. Well, Listen. go up closer to the, no, go, you got closer to the microphone. I was going to cut the camera to hear it. No, no. Camera, can you hear? Just tap it. What? We need to tap it. Yeah, listen. Yep. Oh, it is it's good. good stuff. It is good stuff. Very good stuff. And the mustard. This is such yummy mustard, this honey mustard, because it has a little sharpness to it. Not as sharp as Wegmans. Wegmans has a great honey mustard because it's, it's kind of spicy. It clears out your nasal passages every once in a while. There's like hot batches. I actually love a mustard that's done in small batches. So you get some hotter batches sometimes. Like I actually love that about Wigman's honey mustard. Yeah, it was just it was kind of all over the place. Sometimes it would be hot. Sometimes it would. But I think it's cool. You know. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm mm mm. Very good. I would definitely make this again. I mean, it wasn't hard. No. And I, I just think it's a nice. It's like a showstopper. You make it especially for like a. A football game would be great for a football game. I would put butter would. on I would put butter on it then. Wow. That's good. This the is so... It's white. Very yummy. Our really boys good. would love this. Kara would love this too. You know? I don't think I want to show it to him. I'd like to keep it for <laughs> ourselves. No. I would definitely do this. Mm. By the way, this is good. You like it? Yeah, it tastes just like, I mean, it's just, it's like for anyone that, so if mm. you're fussy like me with beer, it's just like a light beer. Like That's, it doesn't yeah, taste. It's a, it's a light lager. Mm -hmm. so. Like it doesn't, I guess it very much like um, Yingling light. Yeah, It'd be yeah, similar. Yingling light. I think right. we need to taste our stuff again, by the way. Do we get any forks? I, get, I have my fork. You have your fork? I don't know yeah. what I did with my fork. Okay. Oh my. One second. I have to do a little storage. We still have the camera up, right? Yep. 
But look how the color has changed on the sauerkraut. We see how it's just kind of taken on the color from the browning of the bacon and um, the brats. Like major flour, major flour, major flavor, major flavor here. Now it's going to be hot. Just be super careful. And then we'll, if it's okay, we'll get a piece out to and try the brat. Oh. So it's amazing how in that time of when we last tasted it, how that the the herbs and spices are permeating. I'm like the get, fennel. Like I taste that fennel. I'm gonna eat a lot. And so is there anything like else? O'clock. Is there anything you think it needs? No. I don't. Okay. You don't think more fennel? I'm not fennel. I do plenty of fennel. You don't think more dill? I don't. Okay. okay. I think it's I think it's good. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one of these here. Okay. Actually, I'll put two of these here. This is a great recipe. Yeah. It does not, not taste good. like the canned. No. Um, no not at all. <laughs> the canned stuff that you're that you're used to seeing. And can I tell you, one of the things that we haven't done on stream yet, but is something that I've done for years, is make. Um, and actually, usually I make turkey Rubens. Can you imagine that on a turkey ribbon? Oh, mm, that's my chef. So this is not even cooked all the time it should cook. But take a look. You gonna take a picture? No, because we have more stuff there. Okay. So take a look at that. So that and it's not and it could still cook for another hour. But we're gonna taste it because we have to. Oh, what did I do with my fork? Oh, here we go. Can we get a knife? We have it. Well, oh, I have it. Oh, you have a knife. Oh. Oh, this is perfect. Our Jimmer music's finally back on. It's the perfect way to go out, right? Drink a German beer. All right, let's give this a taste. Oh my gosh, the broth is so tender. Get a little bit. A little bit of everything. Sauerkraut. Ready? Yeah. Mm. Oh, huh. Mmm. That was a really short German song, by the way. That was amazing how short that song was. Oh, that's good. Really? It's very it's, yummy. It's great. I'm going to get a little bacon with Makes my Makes me proud bite. of my heritage. Absolutely. Just simple food. Simple food that cooks, adds a lot of different herbs and spices. Oh, my goodness. And, and for a fall and winter, this is awesome. I am. I'll be in bed by 8 o'clock tonight. Mm. It'll be good. It's these thicker pieces. I kind of slice them and then put some of that on there. A little mustard. Mm. So delicious. I'm telling you, if you never liked sauerkraut, try this. Yeah, it's, it's different. Doing the sauerkraut like this transforms it. It just completely it adds so many more complex flavors. The beer is great with it, by the way. I think beer is perfect. And you and have, you, you know, you still have that that sauerkraut, like a tinge of it, but of it's course. not. It's completely different. It's so much more so. complex. So the bacon. So if you saw my description below, you can add really as many pork meats as you want to to this. We did bacon and brats. You could add more different German sausages. You could add. Um, pork ribs, you know, just anything to flavor. Cause really that it's almost like, to me, this almost harkens of a Sunday sauce mm -hmm. with Italian Americans. Cooks all day. You put a bunch of meats in there gathering flavor. Um, but it's, but the cabbage is gaining its flavor with this. So, so let us know if you try it. Let us know what your favorite Oktoberfest foods are, what your favorite German beers are, frankly, because I know you'd like to know. You yeah. always are looking for some good beers to try. And also, let us know if you try the pretzel, if you use some great pretzel recipes. This, well, this we've already made before, but this I would definitely make again. I think that was so much... It was so easy. It'd be so fun to do with kids, but frankly, it's fun oh as adults, God. too. This is great. And again, it would be such a showstopper. The regular recipe makes two of these. So you make two of these. They're great for, oh gosh, with football season, it'd be great for watching football games. 
when Super Bowl comes, actually, I think that's what we'll do. We'll do this for Super Bowl because mm-hmm. I think the boys will, will come over. So, um, yes. So, thank you for joining us. I already told them about what was coming up. Good. So we hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. We hope you have a wonderful Oktoberfest for wherever you are. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to like and subscribe. And until we eat again, happy eating. See ya.